What's up guys, JJ here, and as some of you know if you've been watching the channel, we've been breeding a lot of fish successfully, from the fish room all the way outside to the backyard pond. I think we've literally bred thousands of fish this year at this point, and we've had a lot of success. So much success that when I look around it almost feels like I've created a small aquatic army. And breeding fish at its core has two steps, just two. Getting the fish to, well, you know. And then step two, after the magic happens, is raising the babies so none of them die or get eaten. And I think step two is actually the more challenging part. So today I wanna to share with you my setup for growing out fry successfully. Actually, it's a 100% success rate. I've never lost one baby this way. And lately I've been calling this the maternity ward for cichlids, and soon you'll see why. So here's our main tank. This is my African cichlid tank. It's got some Mbunas all the way up to some Venustas that will get kind of large for this setup. And if you look closely now, we actually have a female right there holding eggs. So this is the perfect time for this video. And here's my main grow out tank. I've got I think there's, I just counted, there's almost 50 babies in here right now from a couple of spawns. You can see some are right at about selling size, and then some are a little smaller, I've got to keep growing them. And here is my most recent generation of babies. We've probably got about 20, maybe two dozen babies in here growing up. So to make room for the next generation, I'm going to drain some water out of here, get these babies out, and put them in our bigger grow out tank, because they're big enough to fend for themselves now. And then we'll be able to put the new mother in here to comfortably hold her eggs for the next week or so. She's probably got a week left before she spits. So these guys should be good to go. Here I am in front of my main African cichlid tank. I do believe I have some females holding fry or eggs right now. But if I don't pull them, then we won't get any of the fry. They'll get picked off by the other fish in the tank. So I have one female holding in the back there. And another female holding right there. So I definitely have two that we're going to pull today. Um, sometimes I have like three or four, which is a problem because even I don't have the space for three or four at a time. But we'll get these ladies out of the tank and we'll get them and to their own space, safe and sound, to finish raising their fry. So exactly what I was talking about ended up happening. I did have three females who were holding eggs. So one must have spawned recently and I hadn't noticed because I knew the two were in there. But oh well, we'll just double up in one of them and we should be fine. Look at that. I think that one is just about ready. She should spit this week. And there she goes right into the coconut. Oh, they're both in the coconut. I'm gonna have to get another coconut. Oh, you have your own coconut, ladies. Just like that, point them a little bit away from each other. Oh, so cute in the little coconut house. So I'll let those females stay in there as long as they need to. Sometimes it's three weeks, could go as long as four. And after four weeks, if they haven't spit yet, then I'll strip the fry. But I try not to strip the fry because I'd rather let them do it on their own time frame. But I get nervous after four weeks because that's a long time to go without eating. So the females will stay in there, let their babies out. I'll give them a couple days with Hi, mama. the fry. I'll make sure she's eating. And then I put them back in the big oh, tank babies. and let the babies grow out to a size where they can fend for themselves and my medium grow out tank. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's easy as one, two. It's like two steps. It's not even one, two, three. So if you wanted to have more success raising fry at home, especially with African cichlids, I would say definitely just pick up another 
10 gallon tank or maybe a 20 long and you can probably fit it under your larger tank somewhere or put one on a nightstand whatever wherever you have your quarantine tank and you will have so much more success raising your fry that's pretty much it guys when you see a female looking puffy right here when she's holding those eggs tumbling those eggs you can pull her put her somewhere where she can be safe and sound and relax and do her thing on her own time and for me i have to have a second grow out tank because I'm moving a lot more fish than probably the average fish keeper if you're watching this video. But you really could just grow out that first batch of babies until they're big enough and then put them back in whatever tank they came from. So that's it for me guys. I hope this was helpful. If it was, don't forget to hit that like button. And you made it this far. So why don't you subscribe for more content too? Because we're going to have a video right here that talks more in depth about breeding cichlids. And then YouTube thinks you should watch this video. Alright, that's it for me guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!